guys, time for another book review. Uh, right now we're going to be talking about A Bridge Across the Ocean by Susan Meissner. So she is also the author of Secrets of a Charmed Life. Uh, this is her newest book, just came out this year. Um, and if you've watched my other videos, you've seen I've had generally really good uh, impressions and really good reviews for the books I've read. This is, this book drove me nuts. Um, the average Goodreads reviews for this is 3.9 stars. I gave it a 2. It was okay. Um, it, it just, it drove me nuts. It's, it's told from the point of view, um, it's a third person omnipotent or whatever, but it is told non-linearly and it's told across different time periods. So you got uh, before slash during the war, immediately after the war in 1946, and then you got present day. Um, it's billed as historical fiction. One of the reviewers on Goodreads said it was more like a ghost story and I agree with that. Um, you know, it's, you know, it, part of it's set around World War II and it has to do with World War II, but it's really mo more of a ghost story. Um, and it, it revolves around different women whose lives intersect on the Queen Mary, um, both back then and now. And, um, in the modern time, Brett, um, she has the gift of sight. You know, she's able to see ghosts and talk to them. And she, you know, is kind of pulled onto the Queen Mary, you know, for a high school friend to do him a favor. And, you know, she ends up coming into contact with this other spirit who really wants her to find out what happened to this passenger, Annalisa Kurtz, um, who was an imposter. She kind of stowed away under the guise of her being her Belgian friend um, as a war bride to get away from her abusive Nazi husband. Um, you know, and it kind of follows the story. You find out, you know, what happened to each of the women, you know, Annalisa Kurtz, what happened to the, um, the woman who helped her, and also what happens to Brett as she kind of struggles with you know, dealing with having the sight and dealing with having this ability and, you know, the toll that it's taking on her marriage. Um, the biggest things that bothered me, you know, I've read other non-linear books, you know, um, the biggest one being The Night Circus. Um, and this just drove me nuts. It was like sensory overload. There was too much to keep track of and eventually yeah you know you kind of get into your groove you figure out who's who and keep track of the different storylines going on um but this one it just it, it was too much too too much especially in the beginning um formatting issues it for for instance okay um you know at the beginning of each chapter it tells you where they are and what year they are and there are instances where there are uh, sequential chapters dedicated to the same person. Some of the chapters bear redundant labels, others don't. So, you know, that's something I picked up on that really drove me nuts. Um, editing. There's one page where they're talking about Wiesbaden in Germany. And in one chapter, it's Wiesbaden, W-I-E-S. And then the next paragraph it's vice bot and v uh w e i s by the way it's actually v spot and um america has a base there so that drove me nuts and then in the end i i i i just read this and i wanted to stab my eye out because it it killed me okay and spoiler alert the tiredness she'd been battling the last couple of weeks a subtle sign of a pregnant woman's first trimester Caught up with her gently, ushering her into a dreamless slumber. Oh my god, if it's a subtle symptom, your description wasn't. It, that killed me. I, I wanted to stab my eye out. It killed me. Um, overall, two stars. I enjoyed the story, you know, um, 
her resolution that the spirit that interacted with her was actually the spirit of the ship. Okay, yeah, you know, for a long, you know, for millennia, ships have been considered to have a heart and soul, you know, kind of like, you know, our cars have a personality, our houses have a personality, it has a soul, whatever. But as a resolution for the story, I didn't buy it. I, I didn't. It No, it didn't work for me. Um, so, I mean, read it if you like. Hit the comments. Tell me what you thought of it. You know, like I said, good reads overall. She's got 3.9. So people out there like it. Um, I found one other person who gave it two stars. Um, so it, it didn't please everyone. But... I don't know that I will read any more of her stuff. I'll give her another chance maybe in a few years when I forget about this one, but in the meantime, no. Anyway, if you like what I have to say, if you like my channel, hit subscribe. If you like the video, hit like. Hit the comments below. Tell me what you thought and what book you think I should read next. In the meantime, you guys have a good one.